We're back here with Brief Encounters. Like every Monday and Friday, Leah Bell is here with a story, with conversations with the people who make up this corner of the world. Leah, thanks very much for being here. Thank you. This time, uh, you have a, a great story that you were allowed to eat a lot at, and I'm a little bit jealous looking exactly. at the footage. So if you Tell like Indian it. food, yeah. or food in general, you're going to love this story. So I want you to picture the Airbnb concept, but with a food and dining experience. It's a company actually based in Israel, and it's called Eat With, and the whole concept is that they create shared dining experiences. So they bring locals and foodies together, uh, local chefs rather, and foodies together yeah. around a shared dining experience. And it's really completely different than going to a restaurant. Yeah, and really popular in Israel. Yeah, the most popular is actually here in Israel. Everywhere else, it's it's just growing. And the way it works is that completely different from a restaurant you where you have a host and you have a wait, waiter and you're going with a set group. Here, you're entering into the world of a completely strange person and you're living their food experience. They're cooking for you. You're seeing the interactions with their family. You're getting to know, you know, how they, their culture and their language sometimes. And in this case, that person was an Indian man who came here decades ago and just never looked back. That's right. And more interesting than that is that he's married to an Israeli woman. So the dynamic between them was something even, you know, to explore further. So let's take a look at the story. You can feel the rhythm and then I'm cooking, you know, just like I'm like this. My name is Chanchal Banga and I came from um, India, my family from Calcutta. I now live in Tel Aviv and I'm uh, part of uh, Eat With. Eat With is uh, a platform that allows chefs and talented cooks to host people in their house and create magical experiences. A whole family we are involved. Miss me, my daughter, my wife. Because uh, I'm cooking, they're coming, they're helping, just like the cleaning the, the space. The, my big daughter, small daughter, their spoon, they're making the very nice. She can show you when I'm cooking, and she helped me to make the aloo gobi. I can show you how she's doing. Where is the knife? Here. Yeah. Just like I feel this is my India. Because in India, we, uh, people are inviting their house. And you come to my home, and then you learn my culture. You understand what is my culture. Normally, if you go to a restaurant, what you eat? You eating there and come back. But if you go to a uh, people's house, you see their culture, you see their family, you see the, the how they're working, how they're connected to each other. Hello, Naima Oda Nisigal. I must say it's a really, really unique experience to come to the house. <laughs> Cats. <laughs> he cooks uh, recipes from his childhood, and even if you've never been to India, you can get a small taste from uh, a very, very rich culture. My father all the time say, you have to learn, otherwise you never know what is coming. But if you know by hand something, so you never be hungry, you know, you can get everything. Mm. Yeah, if you are doing this, means you like it. And if you just not... Okay. I have a strong feeling nobody ever goes hungry in that house. Ever. He's one of my favorite people that I've interviewed, I have to admit. But tell me, he, so he came here two decades ago. He seems to have a great life here, but why did he stay? It's quite random. Yeah, I asked him the same thing, actually. Well, Israelis travel a lot to India, so right. you know, one of the things that kept him here was the fact that a lot of people in Israel are familiar with the Indian culture, respect it a lot, and he felt he felt somehow at home here, and he, he talked about a lot of the similarities between the Indian culture and the Israeli culture, the fact that they're family-oriented there, the fact that they, you know, they meet as a family. But one thing he said was that he expected that in Israel, 
they would be even, you know, very, very family oriented, but it's only really on Friday nights, which is the, you know, Jewish right. holiday of Shabbat, which a lot of Israelis celebrate, that the family comes together. And in India, it's 10 times more. Every single activity, every single event is done with the family. He described his aunts congregating in the kitchen and cooking together and, you know, everybody sort of like visiting and the whole entire family, cousins, uncles, aunts, you know, brothers and sisters just being together. And, and that is one thing that he does really miss. So he found though some cultural familiarity, I guess, yeah. here in Israel and stayed. An interesting story, uh, a lesser heard one from the sort of people that make up the fabric of this part of the world. Leo Baras, thanks very much as always. We'll see you back here on Friday. That's it for us for tonight. This is Debrief. We'll be back here tomorrow, same time, same place with another show. Find us online in the meantime for anything you may have missed. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching.